Hello everybody! In this video clip I will discuss with you how we can write simple rate equations. Something that every biochemist should be able to do. So let's assume we have a simple reaction. So a component A is uh, react somehow with a rate constant K1. Uh, in this case, we can say the rate of the change, so rate of change, can be described as the rate of change in concentration of A, so change of A per time unit, and this equals minus this rate constant, minus because a disappears minus K1 times the concentration of A to the power of M. Very often in biochemical pathways M equals 1, but it doesn't have to be 1, uh, as we will see. But just for the sake of maths, let's just simply say uh, we keep this M here. Now Let's have a slightly more complicated uh, equation. So let's say we have A, which is converted into a product B. And we have the rate constant K1 again. And again, we can write the uh, rate of change and we can say dA we do exactly the same as we've done above. dA equals minus K1 times the concentration of A, let's say again, to the power of M. The minus is here because this reaction indicates a disappearance of A. Now, of course, we can also say we can not only look at the rate of change of A, of the concentration of A, we can also go for the change in B. And we see that uh, A is converted into B, so B appears at the same rate as A disappears. So we can write plus, because A shows up, K1 times A to the power of M. Note, we have A here because the appearance of B does only depend on A. It does not depend on B. Very often people make the mistake that they write B here, but that is obviously not correct. We can now make it even more complex and we can say what happens if we have an equation that looks like A is converted into B at a rate constant K1 and B is converted into A again at a rate constant K-1. Now we can break this down into two reactions. We can say A is converted into B with a rate constant K1 and B is converted into A with a rate constant K-1. Now we can say dA over dt is nothing else but this component plus this component. So we can analyze these steps separately and simply add them together. And how this is done I will show you in the next video.